Did you plant them in the fall? Or yeah, in the fall. And they were big. I bought them from the Okay. I'm going to go back and I never saw a garden grow that. It grows like a man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're saying they're bigger than usual. I was just so blinded by it. And part of it could be the, the, the variety of garlic. Some, some types of garlic are smaller than others. It could be a lack of water. Um, it could be I should I should mention there are there are two I'm gonna take a picture classes of, of garlic. There's what they call hard neck garlic and soft neck garlic. <laughs> Um, if you ever buy the garlic that's in the braids, like the Italian garlic, that's actually soft neck garlic. The, the stems on the garlic are soft and pliable, so we can braid them. The hard neck gar garlic are very stiff. They, they sometimes call it stiff neck garlic too, so it's kind of like a stick coming out of the garlic. And that's actually the only kind that produces the scapes. The soft neck garlics won't do that. Um, and the garlic scapes, like I said, they're, they're, we do cut them off. We only have them for maybe two weeks because we want to cut them all off because we want the garlic. So, so if you ever see them next year, get them as you can because they'll be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we, we grow both kinds of garlic, the soft and the hard, and we grow several varieties of each one. The, the stiff necks do, do better in this area in the, the colder winters than the soft necks. Yeah, yeah these all fall. Okay. Uh, we'll harvest them in July, but we have to let them cure so they probably won't be ready for sale until August. <laughs> I don't know if you mentioned, did you say, um, do you sell your stuff at the farmer's market also? We, we mostly, we sell some things at the farmer's market when we have extra. Uh, first pit goes to our CSA members. Uh -huh. um, so, so the people who order online or come to our house, they get first dibs basically, and then whatever's left over is sent to the market. Right now, right now, when we do things, we usually drop off our, our leftover, our produce with the pay the farms because with the four kids, I have a hard time getting to the market. <laughs> but, um, we're, if anybody's on Facebook, uh, but we're on Facebook, you can always find out what we're doing there. Um, if you give me your email address, I can put you on your mailing list and you actually get emails saying what's right for the week. And I can give you a link to our, our ordering website as well. Um, that sounds good. <laughs> Are you guys happy with the way everything tastes? If you look at the eggs, you can see the yolks are all really very, very yellow. That's because of their grass diet. Um, the bugs and the insects and it's a lot more, uh, I can't remember the name of them, but that, that, that's why they're so yellow. Here are some pictures of our farm that Sarah printed out. If you guys want to look at them, you can them around. Uh, this picture is a picture of our cold frames. We start a lot of, we do all of our own transplants. We grow everything from seed. And we start them actually in our, in our garage, which has become like a fake greenhouse. And then when they're ready to move out of the greenhouse, sorry, they put them into the cold frames or out on our porch, and then we take them out to the field. Um, these are our three pigs this year. They're Bay and Ada Ham, <laughs> and Tiny. Tiny was the run of the litter. Uh, this is how your lettuce started out. There's, we start, well, actually, not that lettuce. This is head lettuce. Head lettuce. We started as transplants and then lettuce mix, we actually seed it in the field and cut it as a piece. Um, these are some of the tools we use on our tractor to dig potatoes and plant potatoes. Uh, they always call for potatoes. Um, this is a picture of some of our produce. There's cabbage, some red scallions, little beans, kale. The sweet corn, we actually don't grow sweet corn. Uh, we work with another farmer who does a lot of sweet corn. They just do it very well. Um, it's more worth my time to grow things like lettuce mix and some of those unusual things than sweet corn. Because sweet corn takes up a whole lot of area. Um, my neighbor grows GMO sweet corn, so it would kind of cause issues. Ooh, wow. um, I think we do a little bit, but, but I have friends who do it better. So. Uh, this is, one of the things we do is typically we try to 
special events at the farm and around Columbus Day every year. Oh, oh, we didn't do it last year, but we have a pumpkin picking party. We usually plan to fill the pumpkins, and then all our CSA members come and pick pumpkins for their, for their kids, and we have a dinner.